What's going on guys? Ted Teske here with the WGM Productions. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a quick and brief tutorial on how to do side chain compression. Um, if you're unfamiliar with um, this method or this definition or even if you've heard of it but have never really used it or applied it to a session or applied it to a track, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. Um, basically what I have pulled up here is a Pro Tool session that I'm working on actually for myself. Um, it's a song called American Conspiracy, and as you can see, it's a relatively large session. I'll flip to the um, edit window here, and as you can see, um, I have verse 1, verse 1. I have them both highlighted. I have it looped so that I can use this as an example. I have the DigiRat compressor limiter pulled up, which is a stock plugin within Pro Tools. To use this, basically, what I'll do is show you how to pull it up. Um, as you can see right here, I have highlighted the beat and then all the way over here to the bottom left I have highlighted sidechain 1 and sidechain 2 So the three selected tracks, sidechain 1, sidechain 2 and the beat right here over to the right Those are going to be my examples for the day So what my goal is here is to extract signals from these two vocals these two vocal tracks I want to extract the signal from both of those and I want to pull that signal into this beat a little bit to allow the mix to blend together and allow the vocals to breathe a little bit with the beat and create an overall better mix a lot of times artists have problems feeling like the vocals are sitting over the beat or the vocals are sitting under the beat and they can never really find a medium well sidechain compression creates a pocket within a beat or within a vocal and allows you to extract external signals. In this case, I'm gonna create a compressor on my beat track. Okay, so the first thing you would do is create a compressor. In this case, in Pro Tools and Dynamics, I'm gonna go over here and use the compressor limiter. This is the stock plugin within Pro Tools. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click the side chain key input button right here. That's initiating the side chain function within the compressor. What this means is the compressor is only gonna function when the external signals from the vocal tracks hit it. So basically by showing an example, I'm gonna show you how this works, but what I'm doing is telling the compressor only to function when these two vocal tracks right here when these two signals hit it. So in order to make that happen, you're gonna select the side chain key input, come over here to the left, create a key input. In this case, I wanna create a bus. I'm gonna create a bus channel. I'm gonna select any available bus, which is bus one. Now I have the compressor ready to go. So since my goal is, is to extract the vocal tracks, I have created on the vocal tracks right here, side chain one and side chain two, those are two vocal tracks. I have gone into my send section and I've created a bus. So as you can see, I created a bus that runs to bus one. In order to do this, you'd go to bus, come up here to bus one. Since you selected bus one here, over here on your vocals, you would wanna select bus one again. So I selected bus one both on both on the vocal tracks you're going to get a pop-up fader here if you option click it it'll bring it to unity and i would recommend to keep it there until you start um, getting a sound that you like and then you can maybe mess with it but overall you wouldn't even touch the fader you would just mess around with the uh, volume and the gain and all that within the compressor here so now that we have the vocals set up on bus one and we're sending it over to the beat track through this compressor, we would go ahead and mess with the parameters within this compressor to affect the signal more or affect the signal less. So the whole goal here is to get the vocals to breathe with the beat and create a better mix. So what I'll do is come over here to my example. I have the, the vocal tracks that I set up the buses on and sent through the compressor. I have them right here. 
And what I'm gonna do is play it on bypass. I'm gonna bypass the compressor, let you hear it without the side chain compression. Then I'm gonna let you hear it with the side chain compression. Um, but overall, this is gonna show you how to set this up within your Pro Tools session and hopefully um, start developing your own technique um, to make your sound better. So here we go. I'm gonna start this vocal track off right now. I've looped it so you guys can hear the before and after effect here. Austin. American conspiracy, most of us are mindless Columbine High School, that's a day in history Freshman year in high school, it was early fall It was 9 a.m., I watched the Twin Towers fall Ever since that day, I felt I'd never be the same Rest in peace to everyone we lost on that day So as you can hear, my main, um, my main problem with when there's no side chain compression right now if the compressor's on bypass it means that nothing's happening with it so i'm just hearing the vocals normally once it's off bypass that's what i'm going to show you now once it's off bypass it's actually going to be affecting the signal so um basically what i was hearing is that the vocals sounded decent but a little flat a little bit over the beat so by initiating the side chain compression taking the bypass off and playing it again i'm going to be able to hear a difference and i'm going to be able to um, intensify the effect of that signal and make it you know more or make it less depending on how i set the ratio first and foremost the higher the ratio the more the signal is going to be affected in this case i like to throw the threshold almost all the way up um, that's just my preference you can mess around with it to get a better sound and then i kick the db up about 0.5 just because um, the mix to me already sounds good you know before i did anything so i don't want to amplify it too much so now i'll play this again while with the bypass off and you should be able to hear a difference i'll play around with the uh, parameters like the ratio and attack uh, throughout the vocal so you can hear the difference but it should sound like the vocals are sitting within the mix just a little bit better so here we go Austin. American conspiracy, most of us are mindless Columbine High School, that's a day in history Freshman year in high school, it was early fall It was 9 a.m., I watched the Twin Towers fall Ever since that day, I felt I'd never be the same Rest in peace to everyone we lost on that day The soldiers in Iraq that had to feel the pain For every parent grieving that'll never live again May God bless your soul, you never know when your time is up You'll never know when you go The media is falsified, so we will never know We only see the TV or the Facebook news feed. I'm shedding tears on the song, please help me. I'm feeling like there's something more to this mystery. This is a long, dark time in our history. When will we all realize this conspiracy? Okay, so basically, um, you should have been able to hear how, as I started intensifying the ratio and the gain, how the vocals started not only coming up, but they started, it almost sounded like the beat and the vocals were all one. And in mixing as an engineer, that's what you're shooting for. So side chain compression allows you to cross signals, cross paths, and the way that you do that is you create buses, like I showed you right here on the left. Um, you're gonna send this signal with a bus to the bus that you created with the compressor on the beat over here. So over here on the right. And pretty much that's how side chain compression works. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, uh, feel free to leave comments, um, you know, concerns or anything like that. And I'd be happy to help you guys out. Um, again, my name's Ted Teske with WGM Productions. And you guys have a great day.